Hi, my name is Trevor Morris. I'm the composer of the television show Vikings and Vikings Valhalla. Super excited to be part of this awesome strategy game, Viking Rise. It was just a great honor and opportunity to do a song for this strategy game. Valhalla is calling. My first memory of music is really my grandmother. You know, I don't have a lot of musicians in my family, but she played by ear. And she used to play piano for me when I was a kid and kind of sing in my ear. And it's funny, the way she did it was almost like, it painted a picture in my mind and it, it sort of where I feel the birth of the composer in me came from. And then music has been with me ever since, you know. I grew up in Canada and in my 20s, I was writing commercials, adverts. And I fell in love with them. I just moved to LA to kind of go, okay, I'm gonna give this a go and this is what I wanna do and that was 23 years ago. <laughs> I love playing video games. I'm a little busy so I don't play as much as I used to when I was a kid. But uh, I play with my kids whenever I can but what always drives me uh, is narrative, storytelling. I really consider myself a storyteller. You know, my language is music. I think for Viking Rise, you know, first of all, just inspired by the footage I saw the game, you know, it just has that epic scope to it. And as soon as you see that amount of scope, we're underwater, we're overhead with the boats. So like, okay, this is wide, is the word that jumps to mind. So we wanted something that would reflect that, all the glory of the Viking culture. So my first thought was this amazing singer who you're gonna hear on the track. His name is Callie Orverson. Callie looks like a Viking. He sings in English, he sings in Norse, and he can translate into Old Norse, like poems and things like that. Amazing skill, like kind of a one of a kind guy. I said, listen, we, here are some guidelines. We want to have certain lyrics in it. And he said, do you want it in Norse or English? I said, I don't know, what do you think? He said, well, how about both? I'm like, all right. So, you know, we researched poems of valor and Callie would basically take from the old books as he called it, stuff he liked, and he would embellish it. So he actually is a co-author of the poem itself to create what the clients were looking for, which is that sense of Viking excitement and valor and all that good stuff. And then on top of that was, there's two instruments that came to mind. We utilize an instrument called the nickel harpa, which is a classic uh, Norse kind of fiddle. You bow it, but it's got some keys and stuff. It's a really fascinating instrument. I have a great player out of Sweden, Eric Rydell, who would play us for me on that. And then there's an instrument called the hurdy-gurdy. It's something raw and guttural about it. I love it, you know? It's so. Those are the two instruments right away. One's more elegant, one's a little more rough. One's got more of a lyrical quality, one's got more of a, you know, heard a gritty, you have to turn a crank, right? Something, you know, I don't know, primal about it. And then into the array of big drums and orchestration. So that was kind of the blend was the lead singer and then these two solo instruments as kind of the trifecta. And the rest is all me in my studio with my machinery creating Viking drums. So I had this sort of three-part structure from the beginning, which was that started with some mystery, almost the, the mythical nature of Vikings. And the middle was really just to be exalting and to be, you know, loud and proud with that. It was always meant to be a, a bit of a book ended with the myth of that culture. And just be, I guess, Vikings rock and roll is kind of what I would describe it as. It was a cool ask, you know, to write a song. It's not as common as you may think. The strategy, epic battle nature of the game, which is awesome, is something that really inspired me. Right away, I just loved it, you know? It was like, all right, that's my kind of thing. The size and the scope of it and the epic battles is the stuff that just got me really inspired to work on the song. So really, the song came a lot from that inspiration. 